at what point did this perfect sort of life almost start to change for you? Oh, well, I wouldn't say it was a perfect life mm. because it's, it's not very easy when you're doing a pop group thing. Mm. There is always uh, what it's like on the inside and then how the perception is on the outside of it. Mm. So, but there was many, many fun times. Mm. It's, it's one of those jobs where you take the rough with the smooth, mm. you know. The rough is rough, but the smooth is smooth. So you've just got to take it all. I mean, knowing thing. what we do about Ask Club 7, you know, everybody watching this, we all think, oh, everybody that was in the band is now living in a mansion, you know, you're made mm -hmm. for life, etc., etc. And, of course, the reason you're here today is that you kind of hit the headlines because mm. you ended up having to try and sell one of your Brit mm. Awards mm. for money. Yeah. Now, I, I just want to... You know, people might go, oh, you know... They haven't you... sold, by the way. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but it, uh, people might think, oh, you know, it's a bit of a PR thing. But I, I just want to put across... I mean, you've, you've been literally eating noodle, packet noodles. Packet noodles. But I love them. We, we <laughs> bought you your shirt today, you said, because <laughs> you, you didn't have the money to buy literally the shirt on your back. No, I just wanted How to... How make... has it got that bad? How has it got that bad? Um, well... Last year, there's something that I can't really discuss that has happened, um, so it's a bit tricky. But yeah, I've 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 had an injury. Right. So okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what's happened in the last year that's made it very difficult. Yeah. Um, when I was doing when we did the 2015 S Club tour, I was, as it was written in the papers, I went bankrupt and I had to give all that money back to. Uh, and I got an you old had tax problems. Tax problems. Yeah. Paid it off. Owed about thirty, accumulating over about seven years. Um, now the lawyer's fees on that were forty-six, bigger than the HMRC bill. Yeah, and uh, so I had to give all that, um, all of my money for that tour went to pay that bill off. And I had to do the next job that came in yeah. because it's showbiz, and that was Rocky Horror. And I felt very lucky to be in a job like that. But, you know, S Club might have done something else if it wasn't for me being put in that position. And it's a shame that that has happened, but because you, I know much the fans wanted to see it. You've also done a bit of painting and decorating and stuff yeah. like that, I believe. I yeah. Mean, again, I just want to... I just want to say <laughs> what people at, at home might be watching this now and go, OK, well, you're, you know, you're sitting here and you had this amazing showbiz career, but sometimes in life, things don't go on forever. Mm. And maybe now, in your mind, it's time for you to go... That was then, what am I going to do now? And just go and get a normal job. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Selling the Brit Awards, because it was no way a PR thing, I didn't expect it to go how it did. And I regret, in a way, how it has gone, because I was hoping to be able to sell them quietly yeah. without there being a, a furore about the situation. Paul, obviously, in, in all of this situation, have you got family that can help you? Have you, have you had support from family? What's mm. your situation in that terms? Because, you know, if you were my son and you'd fallen on hard times, I would get you to move in with me and, you know, sort you out and help you out and be there to support you. Yeah, my mum's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she has helped in a big way. Yeah. Mm. What, what have you spent... Do you, I mean, we, you, like, like Jane said, we have this idea that pop stars have this huge amount of money, but it's not always mm. quite like that, is there? What, did you have a huge amount and you just spent it all, or did you never really get much money? Well, no, I never really got much, no, no. Mm. But that's, that's, that's by the by. I mean... That's kind of par for the course. Lots, yeah, yeah lots of people don't. I mean, even some of the biggest bands in history didn't make money for years, yeah. and so they came back and do their tours... The Who, the Rolling Stones, mm -hmm. um, the Beatles didn't make a penny until they actually signed the and Apple deal. There's a deal lot of stuff around pop, pop that costs money, you know. So mm. the, 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 the taxes, the hotels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, that's all going to come out of you in know a, in a seven piece. The yeah. big, yeah, exactly. It's expensive to run a seven piece band, especially now in the current climate, um, when you've got seven hotels. So what about if you? walk past um, a shop on your local high street and it says sales assistant wanted. What about going in and starting from there? Yeah, no, I have. Do you feel, yeah. though... Oh, you have? No, I have done a bit of that, but I just didn't want to discuss it because I could tell that the way things had gone in the press, you know, things had reached a kind of fever pitch and literally anything I was saying was, was being hung on yeah. and, and delved into. And so I stopped doing interviews. Mm. And I've just thought, hang on a minute, let's so just you, but you wind have, it back. You have 
done jobs. Yeah. I mean, you've got to go if, back if, to if, basics, haven't you? If you mean, am I cool with delivering Domino's pizza? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Yeah. If that's what it is. And actually, sorry, on the, on the mum thing, because you did say, I sold all my discs uh, and she did it for me. Bless her. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they were all in storage uh, at the, at the, in the loft at the family home. Good. and uh, Yeah, mm. but they've all gone. So. Well, Paul, what, what happens next now? Like, what is the next chapter in your life? What do you want it to be? Ooh, well, I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think we're probably mostly like that, but yeah. it's just, it's just I, interesting I if, you've, if you've sort of focused on something now as, as being the next sort of thing that kind of moves you on in, in your life, mm -hmm. in a positive way, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had a few thoughts about mm. things. Like, what would you like to do? What would I like to do? Go Be in into, a band again. Go into politics. <laughs> <laughs> and what about relationships? Um, what, now? Or... Yeah, would, you like, we... would you like to settle down? Or? I would love to find a woman that, that we get married and have children together. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. that would be amazing. Anyone out there? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone out there? <laughs>